We read, I sit in the silence. I sit in the emptiness. I sit in the effortless space. Who is that? Who sits in the silence? Who sits in the emptiness? And who sits in the effortless space? Well, well, it's like nobody, or maybe it's the self, or something okay. like that. But are you sleep, are you uh, sitting in silence? No, it's not like an eye. No, and you're not sitting, are you? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sitting. You're even. not sitting. <laughs> yeah, good. So therefore, there must be someone else who wrote the letter. The person who wrote the letter is probably the I that come in afterwards. It's like, you know, I sit in that space and it's... Uh, oh. It's coming up again. The thing is that you deal with snakes and you don't know how to touch them. You know, if you, if you have a snake and you don't know how to touch it, don't touch it. But you touch. And that's your weakness. Who's the snake? The snake is the mind. Uh -huh. And you play with words in your, in your mind and you give them too much credit for truth. So you're very easy at every I thought that comes up. Very easy. I accept very it easy, very easy. Yes, you accept it very easy. That's true. Mm. And and particularly the one who wants to make sense and who wants to make sure that there is no I coming in. The I wants to make sure there is no I coming in. Mm. Which is quite a safe job, no? Kind of. <laughs> There's no eye around, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but me. <laughs> That's called ego, which is okay. It's not a mistake of nature. <coughs> it's just it, the characteristic of how it operates in our minds. And freedom is not there. Freedom is not found there, you see. Eventually, the mind returns to its own source once the dream is not followed, you see. And not every dream, like, oh, is it true there are clouds on the sky or things like that? No, don't waste your time trying to figure out how perceptive um, system works. Just concentrate in the eye. Concentrate in the eye. Mm. In the thought of I. <laughs> I want to be sure that no I comes in. Yes. That's that's a thought. Yes. So just leave it. Yes. To wither away. Yes. Don't partake in the project. <laughs> you know? Every eye is looking for volunteers. And you're the first one who jumps up and says, Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> What do you need? And the eye says, fuel. Oh, I'm all fuel. <laughs> I'm emptiness. You need emptiness to, to exist. So if I give you my emptiness, you become real. So every now and then a dream of fear comes, will arise and float through space. And flood the space. Mm. So then come one, someone. someone comes along to escort it off the premises and restore peace. Yes, that someone is, 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 what happens is that when you see from the individuality, you add individuality to oneness. 
So whatever you see, you imagine it to be one. Because you see from oneness, from, from individuality. You with me? So individual mind sees individual in beings. Individual mind doesn't see absolute self. So individual mind feels a sensation of peace arising and sees a kind of a veil closing down and peace restored and add it, add to it meaning the projection of someone came and did it because it cannot happen by itself, mind. So there is an imagination of somebody coming and doing it for you, which is mental. Bless you. So who is that? I'm afraid it is an I. Here we go. Here's the declaration of the perspective. A declaration of perspective. I'm afraid that is an I. An achiever. So the loser is afraid of the achiever, you see? Because if the achiever comes, he will lose what he ha had achieved. So the loser has been an achiever to be a loser. You cannot be a loser without achieving something. So, all I'm saying is, all this is beautiful material for you to observe from peace. You see, as there is activity in your mind, you should be remain absorbed in yourself until you learn the gap. Until you, until you learn you're free. Until you're clear that you're free. Until you have no doubts about it. That your, your, your freedom is effortless, a gift, doesn't need ma maintenance, doesn't need changes in your personality or in your being, is already present. And that's the only way you get there, establishing a distance from this kind of thinking. So it's like an illusion creeps in and tells you that there's an I there, but there's no I there, because mm. that's the illusion. Mm. And the only place, you see, you can fulfill, because there is a functioning happening, you see, there is a functioning of individuality happening. But it's functioning in this harmony. The functioning of individuality in harmony is in devotion. The functioning of individuality in harmony manifest in devotion. And devotion means that whoever, every, everything, the cause of everything, you see, is the beloved. If you have peace, if you have activity of mind, it's a, it's a total state of surrendering. The, 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 the manifestation of the individual mind in harmony, you see, through harmony, which has awareness of the self in manifestation, is in harmony with its environment and is in harmony with the forces that are dealing with it. That individuality is not the I. Individuality is the, the false self sense of I, yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Or, yes, the mirror, you see. It's not who you are. 